Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little something I bought about a year back. It's a uh, little black powder cannon. This particular is one is made by a company called Kennesaw Cannon Company down in Georgia. And this is just a small salute cannon. It's not made to fire any type of projectile or shoot anything out of the barrel. It's only made to just make a bang and uh, for a salute. These type of cans usually you want to use black powder, but unfortunately black powder is kind of hard to come by. So what I'm going to be using today is called Pyrodex. I just bought this at Walmart. It's pretty easy to come by. Um, it's a little bit safer than black powder, a little bit cleaner burning than black powder. Um, for, for the type of black powder can like this, you're going to want to use a double FG uh, type of black powder. For Pyrodex, that equivalent is called RS. Um, anything else will burn too fast or too slow and you're not going to get a good bang or your cannons can actually uh, blow up. One thing you do not, do not want to use in this situation would be smokeless powder. Smokeless powder is very dangerous to use in, in, in a type of salute cannon like this. So we're going to show you how to load this salute cannon and then we're going to show it going off. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get some good safety fuse. This here is 8th inch cannon fuse, also called safety fuse. And this is what's going to be actually igniting the charge within the cannon. So the first thing you want to do is cut off a decently sized portion of fuse. You want enough that way when you actually insert inside the cannon, you have enough time to get away from the cannon. So on the rear end here is a little fuse hole. So we're going to uh, just stick this fuse in there. You want to get a little bit in there enough that way you ensure that the charge is actually ignited. The worst thing you can have is a lit fuse and your cannon not go off. That's, that's often sometimes the most dangerous things because you don't know if it's going to go off, you don't know what's going to happen. Once you get that fuse in there, you want to add the black powder, or Pyrodex in this case. So I have a little bit of Pyrodex here in, in the uh, lid, and we're going to try to add this in there. When you're adding the Pyrodex or the black powder, you're going to want to make sure that you don't add too much and you, and you add enough to get a good bang. So I like to add some in there, check it, make sure I add enough. In this case, I added just a little too much, so I'm going to take some out. Take out just a little bit more. Alright, that should be enough. Now, Pyrodex burns a little bit differently than black powder does. In order to get a good bang from the Pyrodex, you want to add a lot of wadding. You really want to compact it. So here I just got some tissue paper. And we're going to pack, pack this inside the cannon. You really, you really want to get it nice and tight packed in there. The tighter you pack it, the better bang you're going to get. Now in the case of black powder, you don't want to pack it too much. If you pack it, if you black, if you pack black powder too much, you're going to get a little too much of an explosion. The Pyrodex does burn a little bit less, uh, a little bit slower, so you can pack the Pyrodex a little bit tighter to get a better bang. So now that our black powder cannon is packed with powder and got the fuse, we're ready to set it off and see how it looks. All right, so we just fired the black powder cannon. As you can see here, it's still smoking a little bit, it's still a little bit warm. There's a little bit of charred grass there from the actual firing of the cannon. So there's the actual cannon shot. And as we can see, our wadding flew quite a little distance. And it's still a little smoke, so we're just gonna tap that out, but that, guys, is the uh, black powder cannon. Thanks for watching.